What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrail.com. Today we're gonna to be checking out this retractable ratchet strap from Ericsson. It also is push button to recall it. So let me show you what I'm talking about. You just pull it out like that. I'm gonna hit this red button and it goes back in like that. Really easy to use and strap down your cargo and gonna keep it nice and tight together. You're not gonna to have to always wrap up that extra and deal with that. Let's check it out. All right, I got the back one installed. You can see how nice and tight it is. It's not gonna go anywhere. So let's go ahead and get the front one set up too. I'm gonna find a spot on the trailer to attach the hook. We got an open end here in one of the rails. We're just gonna go there and then just easily pull the extra out. We're gonna throw it across and attach it on that side. Now, once you have it attached, you can hit that red button and that's gonna pull out the slack before you start ratcheting it down. Now it's a little tighter. I don't have to hold the hook in here on this end and I can start rashing it down. Now you can switch it to the non-ratchet position. You can just push the red button here and then pull down the lever and you see that it came down, this tab came down behind this tab which keeps it in the free spinning position like that. And when you're ready to ratchet it, you just hit that red button, move this tab up above this tab again, and you're good to go. Something to consider with strap safety is to always use two, no matter what load you're tying down. Clearly our five pallets here aren't gonna be super heavy, but we just wanna be safe. It, it, you know, it, it always pays to be more safe than sorry. So having them strapped down with both these in the front and the back, this isn't going anywhere. I can shake the whole trailer back and forth None of these pallets are moving individually. Now the straps themselves have a safe working load limit of 1,100 pounds and have a breaking point of 3,300 pounds. So just keep that in mind. Think about what you're gonna use these for to strap down and make sure they are under those weight. That way you're not gonna break the straps or have any issues. These ratchet straps are gonna be two inches wide and 10 feet long. So just again, keep that in mind with what you're strapping down if that's enough and all the weight capacities. Ericsson makes a bunch of different ratchet straps, so they're gonna have the one that's gonna work for you. Just make sure you get the right ones for the right job. Depending on how often you use your ratchet straps, there are some other options out there. You can see the ones we're using have the S-hooks on both sides, but there is ratchet straps that doesn't have it on this side that are made to be mounted to the trailer. That way they're always here when you need them. And this is if you're pulling up something heavy to the front of the trailer every single time, this is where you're tying down, you know this is where you need them. You just put them along the side of the trailer. Now, the one with the S-hooks on both sides that we're using today also has that hole. You'd have to get that hardware separate, but you could also mount those all along the trailer if you are always tying stuff down and you just don't wanna have a bunch of loose ratchet straps laying around. It's kinda of nice that they're right here and always ready when you need them. The straps are built pretty strong. It is a polyester webbing, so it's like a seatbelt material. You can hear how strong it is. It's not gonna rip or even kinda of fray at all. It feels pretty strong. I can pull on it and try and get it to break or do anything and it's not gonna rip or anything like that. And that's still pulled pretty tight. So you're gonna like that when it's pulled down on there, you don't have to worry about it ripping. Coming down here, looking at the assembly, it is all zinc coated, all the parts that are exposed. So you don't have to worry about corrosion or rust. So if you do have it strapped down and it rains, or you leave it out in the rain on your trailer, it's gonna be fine. It's not gonna bother at all. It's gonna hold up. And then coming down to the bottom, the hook isn't just metal on metal. It's got a vinyl coating on there so you can protect the trailer where you go to hook it up. Overall, I really like these ratchet straps. It's not like regular ratchet straps are really hard to use, but this just kind of takes some of the pains out of using them. You know, sometimes you have to pop them all the way out to loosen it and adjust it while you got it on here. It's really nice as to push that button and it pulls all that excess strap out of it and gets it nice and tight. And then you can ratchet and get it even more tight. I really like how easy that is and quickly you can get your load strapped down. Well, that does it. Thanks for hanging out and I hope this helped.